Hey YouTube, it's Jay-Z Bottom Lip, and today I wanted to make a video on option select ducking. And a lot of people have been asking me to make this video, so I decided to come around to making this video. So I apologize for you guys waiting so long for this video. Um, I've been asked a lot of times also too, how am I so good at neutral ducking grabs and how I always know when my opponent is going to grab. Um, it's not necessarily that I know when my opponent is going to grab me, it's just that I know in certain situations, he's thinking about grabbing me. That's number one. Number two is that I'm already letting go of block and I'm OSing a lot of his moves and strings. So a lot of times his moves are very fast. And I'm using Johnny for an example because Johnny has really good pressure. So when he's pressuring me a lot of times, I'm already neutral ducking and continuing blocking. Now, since he has so many fast strings, if he just so happens to stagger a string into grab, I'll already be ducking because the grab is a little slower than the actual move. For an example, if Johnny decided to do one, one into knee, I still have enough time to kind of duck before he can naturally uh, gel it. So if he did this, I still have enough time to duck in between. I just ducked right there. So a lot of times when you're when you're neutral ducking, you're gonna you're gonna be doing this a lot of times. And when you're doing this, you have to learn how to be really fast in certain situations because uh, one one is plus. So you don't have enough time to let go block and then block. You have enough time to do this. So a lot of times when you're fighting, not just necessarily Johnny, any character in particular and you don't want to take your turn back, you kind of OS it with ducking. So let me explain it a little more better so you guys can understand. If my opponent decided to do something like this, this is the, this is, I'm gonna explain two things right now. So two things, the first thing is, this is where OS ducking becomes a problem sometimes. When you're, o, when you're known for OS ducking and your opponent knows you like the OS duck, you can get away with staggering or over staggering or what I showed you guys in another video is overextending. So not all the time is overextending bad. It also can be really good in sense where your opponent is OS ducking a lot of times because naturally what's happening with OS ducking, you're, you're giving up your, your position to actually poke back by ducking. So when you do this, it's because you're, you're, you, you, you feel like your opponent's going to grab you. I couldn't think of a better term, but the lack of the lack of better terminology What's happening is you're giving up your turn where you would decide to poke with neutral ducking rather than poking back. So it would look something like this, right? And while you're doing that, you're, you're losing your turn which allows your opponent to go for grabs sometimes too. And this is where you can punish. But sometimes if you're playing against someone who's really strong, they can also get away with stagger strings like that into grabs because they're, you're anticipating a grab. You can also grab them too, but this will allow you to get open up for shimmies, grabs, sweeps, and stuff like that. This is why you see a lot of people like, get hit by this because they're they're doing this so the sweep is really good in a sense so you can do things like this and it would catch them sometimes and they get hit now the reason why you would option select in certain matchups or just in general is because you want to go for a bigger punish sometimes and a lot of times too is that your opponent believes that you're really good at blocking. And what's the best thing to do when your opponent is really good at blocking is to grab him. Sometimes it's to hit him with 50-50s. That's if you have, say, 50-50s. And if you don't have 50-50s, the best thing you really can do at that point if your opponent is really good at blocking is shimmying or grabbing, which will lead to both of them, actually. So sometimes you can shimmy your opponent into a grab or shimmy him into thinking that your grab is coming and then going for sweeps, going for mids, and so on and so forth. So there is a counterplay to OS ducking, 
But always ducking is also good in certain situations where you're, you feel like your opponent is going, going to overextend and lead to a grab. Um, another thing too, when it comes to OS ducking is that you, your opponent is going to try to do things in order to try to grab you. So even though I could do stand one into grab, it looks more believable if I did this and dashed up grab, because it looks like I'm going to do another button. So you can do things like this because what happens is if I just did stand one, I will look for a grab and I'll be ducking. But since he dashed up, I kind of impl I, I, I kind of like was looking for it and then he, he grabs me. Right now, another thing you can do where this is how shimmy comes to play. I'm I'm actually glad you guys asked about OS uh, ducking because now you you will start to put everything together. So now, when someone is OS ducking a lot of times, right? When you're doing this and you grab them because they're looking for you to grab, right? And they punish you, right? This is where shimmying comes into play. So now you can do things like into that. And they get hit by that sometimes. So they're doing this a lot of times. See how like I'm still blocking and I'm still doing this. It kind of OS is highs. And since grabs are highs, you can get away with taking a sweep sometimes. Because in reality, the whole situation is that what would you rather do? You rather duck the high or duck the grab and get a full combo or your opponent knows that you're trying to OS duck him and he goes for a sweep, knocks you to the ground and then he continues his pressure or he doesn't get a full combo. Which one would you prefer? Something to think about. I'll let you guys decide on that one. But it's all about it's all about the decision making. You also can reset neutral. A lot of times when you when your opponent is frustrated and you're playing really good defense, they're most likely going to grab you or overextend. So when they overextend, you have enough time to do things that you would like to do as far as implement your game plan. A lot of times when you are a counter player, it makes it it makes it really hard for your opponent to understand how you play when you have really good fundamentals and you know how to OS duck. See, like we're uh, another thing too. Like I can poke here, but I rather d duck because I'm trying to play a different mind game than him. Also, there's something to think about is that when you're when you're OS ducking, your opponent can see it. So when you're doing stuff like this, you kind of change up his game plan, and he has to change his game plan on the fly because he's trying to understand why you OS ducking. Is it because he thinks I'm going to grab? Okay, since he thinks that I'm going to grab and start using mid more. Okay, then this is when you start poking a lot. You can start doing things like this, taking a turn back, reset neutral, and so on and so forth. Also, the best way to really think about like OS ducking is think about in a situation or a scenario of buttons and you're implementing thinking that your opponent is going to grab, but you do it by anticipating every poke that you think of wanting to do, you let go a block. The next OS duck is kind of hard. Uh, I don't recommend necessarily doing this, but you can do it as a flex, but you also can do it from the habits of your opponent. Every time that you do a string and your opponent wants to reverse it, they typically use a high. You can now implement an uh, OS ducking into your gameplay. All right, watch. This is the harder one to do. You can even do this with a down poke, uh, OS ducking. You can do things like this and then take your turn back. If your opponent uses a high, you can punish him. And the last but not least, the hardest OS duck, in my opinion, to do is kind of do it on your opponent's turn, especially when he's plus. So even though like Johnny is plus when he does these one ones, like I can't necessarily take my turn back, but I can down poke him, right? So when he does one one, he keeps staggering highs right there. I can poke rather than poke you OS duck into your turn. Just like that. Also, I would love to see you guys show off your skills um, implementing OS ducking or all the other fundamentals that I've gone over with you guys. I would love to see that. You guys can post it in my Discord. It should be in the description below. Uh, again, I appreciate you guys like always. And thank you for allowing me to do this video. It's your boy Jay-Z Bottom Lip. I'm out.